I've had some troubles. I've overcome those troubles with money. Money I probably don't have. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm going to be trimming the fretboard sides. So just these little overhangs on the uh, fretboard here to, to try and get the, the sides as flat as possible. So I'm going to be planing that at some point. So then I'll be able to use that router bit to radius the fretboard or to give me a start of the radius of the fretboard and then I'll use the uh, radius and radiusing sanding blocks afterwards. Uh, right, so before I do that, I'm going to set up to bandsaw the sides. And then that's now nice and flat. It's been a good long time doing that. Ooh, look at me. I don't have an ebony fretboard on any of my guitars. I'm going to make an ebony fretboard. And now my shed looks like a coal mine. With all this little black dust everywhere. Sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm hoping it turns out really nicely. So, first of all, let's get ready with some PPE. Just got a standard dust mask. This dust mask is cool because I can interchange these. This is for dust. I have one for vapor, for VOCs. Volatile organic VOC, volatile organic compound for when I build my spray booth in order to finish the guitar with polyurethane because I don't use nitrocellulose, because why would you paint something that is just going to eventually just evaporate straight off the guitar? I want to protect the guitar. Cool. Time for some more planing. It is looking a lot more complete now. Next is to plane the sides again. Then I'll set up the router table and then I'll route maybe the sides instead of planing them. And then I'll route the radius, route the um, truss, rod, truss rod access hole. And then I will start to draw in the frets. And then I'm going to shape the back of the neck. That I'm looking forward to. So I may as well clear out the detritus before we start putting new detritus in. Ow! So, ebony is sharp enough to take my skin off. That's, uh, that's good planing, I suppose.
Hello everybody. Uh, I hope you haven't tuned in to watch me make a big mistake. Quite possibly, I'm about to. So, I'm going to tidy up the axis. The axis um, hole for the truss rod on the guitar over here. So here is the result. There's still a bit of wood in there that looks a little untidy, so I might just take a chisel to that. I don't think it's necessary to um, to raft any more of that out. So uh, that's it. Let's hope it works out. So the next video, I'm going to, as keep Isaac keep promising, I'm going to route the um, radius into this fretboard. Hi everybody, it's finally that day. I've gotten to the point where I can actually radius my fretboard. It's been forever. It's been so many days and uh, my bit got stuck in my old router. So rather than break my bit and break my router, I bought a new router. My new router doesn't fit onto my router table. And so I'm gonna have to do it by hand. It's got a, a bearing on it, so all I need to do is find the center line on this and then I can radius the fretboard and then that will be done. And then I can mark out the frets and then it's the most fun of all. I don't know if it's the most fun to watch or the most fun to do, but I'm going to inlay the fretboard after that and route it out. The 12th fret, I'm gonna put a shark inlay. Right, so now I just need to put the center line back on the, the fretboard to give myself a guide for the router bit. And this is actually going to be relatively quick. When you use a power tool, you use a power tool to save yourself time and effort. Uh, the only problem with that is if uh, you make a mess of it, you end up costing yourself an awful lot more. Fortunately, I found that my 600 mil, 60 centimeter is relatively straight. Or should I say, it's straight enough that I can't tell that it's not. Center line. Right. I did it. I did it. I uh, I copy the people I see on the internet and I went and bought myself a Triton router. Because I was looking, I couldn't get the, the bit out of the other one and I needed it in a hurry and I spent all day trying to not break it with a great deal of non-success. And so I bought a Triton router because when looking for it, um, I would like, would have liked to have gotten one of these, um, but I was looking for something else, something a little bit cheaper, and I thought those are too cheap, and I want something with a, a name to it, and the ones with a name to it still looked a bit cheap, and then I saw this one, it was actually cheaper than some of the name brand stuff, and I thought, that just makes sense, let's get that one. 
So here it is. Now don't need to worry about a guide. Um, the router bit has a bearing on it. I'll show it to you now. Here we go. Radius bit. I want the cutter blade on the center line. I've got two millimeters to trim off the top of this fretboard to get it down to size. It is cold in here today. It was snowing earlier. Maybe that'll give you an idea of what date it is. Fretboard is somewhat radiused. So it hasn't done a great job, but it's taken an awful lot of the work out of it for me. Shockingly bad. That is f***ing awful. Do you know what I need to do with that? Plane it. Mm. Thanks for that. In retrospect, that router bit's pretty shit. a lot better. Hey, not bad. It's not there, but it's not bad. I'll see you in the next video. Um, and I will decide what I'm going to do in the next video and I will tell you what I'm going to do in the next video in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm really enjoying this and I hope you are as well. Um, this is going to work out come hell or high water and you'll be around to see it. So I will see you then. Thanks guys. Bye.